Hey guys, so last week my family and I made a whole like trip to The Hague in the Neval Neval <laughs> Netherlands. Netherlands, I wish. It was such a cool trip and I enjoyed the whole like vibe of the city and I captured so many cool shots and videos, but for some reason I didn't make time for any art. Like it was so hard for me to like find the cool balance between spending time with my family, but also enjoying the city and making videos, making art. And I don't know, so I decided to do it now after the trip. While talking about this whole topic about making time for your art and how hard it sometimes can be, both while traveling, but also on the like day-to-day -day basis. So for the first sketch, I'm gonna use a small fine liner. I'm currently trying to get out of my comfort zone and kind of refuse to use thick brush pens. So I have to be more precise while sketching. I really have to think about all these fine liner strokes and which one I really want to look thicker than the others. Um, and I'm gonna also start with some houses and simple The Hague vibes I got from the city um, while using my references and pictures, video footage that I took from there. Life can be um, a lot. <laughs> With a million different responsibilities, vying for our time and attention, and as someone who loves to create, I know firsthand how easy it can be to let our artistic pursuits fall behind other obligations we have. In fact, just the other day I found myself rushing around from like one thing to the next, like work and some course. By the time I finally sat down to take a break, it was already like late in the evening and dark and I felt like I had accomplished nothing really, like nothing creative all day. But as I sat there feeling frustrated and unfulfilled, I realized that making art is an important part of who I am and who I want to be in the future. And when I neglect it, I can feel disconnected from myself and my passions and goals. And that's when it hit me that I needed to find a way to make time for my own creativity no matter how busy my schedule might be. So I want to share with you some thoughts that have helped me prioritize my art and make time for the things that truly matter to me. By the way, there were a lot of like cute facades like that and they look kind of crooked to me, that's why I exaggerated that. Later that trip we went to the beach and there was this huge ferris wheel right at the pier and I knew that this is something I wanted to capture, but I didn't make time for that. Which brings me to the point, making time. Think about your day. Are there any moments where you're waiting around or doing something relatively mindless? Maybe it's waiting for the bus, sitting in traffic or even like watching TV. These moments might not seem like much, but they can actually be the perfect opportunity to sneak in some creative time. For me, one of my favorite times to create is in the morning. I wake up a little earlier than I need to, make myself a cup of tea and spend some time sketching or painting or something. And it's a peaceful and calming way to start my day and it sets a positive tone for everything that comes after. Although now I'm doing an afternoon video, but maybe mornings or afternoons aren't your thing, that's totally fine. There are plenty of other times throughout the day where you can create. Maybe it's during your lunch break, you can bring your sketchbook to work and spend 30 minutes working on a drawing while you eat. Or maybe it's in the evening after dinner when you can unwind with some sketching or crafting. And if you're really struggling to find time in your schedule, think about all the little moments throughout the day. How long does it take to make a meal? To shower? To brush your teeth? How much time do you really rest or are taking breaks? How much time do you actually spend to prepare to draw, scrolling through Pinterest for ideas, or watching YouTube videos about art? <laughs> there are many ways you can combine your creative time with other activities. The key is to be intentional with your time. Instead of just mindlessly scrolling through Instagram or watching Netflix, use those moments to create something beautiful. You might be surprised at how much you can accomplish in just a few minutes here and there throughout the day. One of the keys to making time for your art is learning how to prioritize your tasks effectively. It's important to distinguish between urgent and important tasks and make sure you're spending your time on the things that truly matter. Sometimes we fill our daily to-do list with everything that circulates our minds just to cross it off the list as quickly as possible. Are these really, really important or urgent tasks for the day? Urgent tasks are those that require immediate attention. And important tasks, on the other hand, are those that are aligned with your long-term goals and values, such as making time for your art and spending quality time with your loved ones, such like this trip, for example. And by learning to prioritize important tasks over urgent ones, you can make sure you're spending your time in a way that is fulfilling and meaningful. 
And don't forget to schedule time for yourself and your art just like you would for any other important task or appointment. As a last page I've decided to draw a bike since the city was like full of bikers and bikes and for some reason bikes are my like worst enemy when it comes to drawing. Like I hate drawing hands and cars but bikes is a whole different level. I always fuck them up and I, oh, I hate those. <laughs> And sometimes, despite our best efforts, life just gets in the way. Maybe there's a family emergency, or you get sick, or unexpected work things come up. Or maybe you just need a good, relaxing day without all of this pressure. When unexpected interruptions do come up, try to stay flexible and adjust your schedule accordingly. Maybe you need to take a short break from your art, or perhaps you can find creative ways to continue your artistic practice even during busy times. The key is to stay committed to your artistic passion even when life throws a curveball. <laughs> Remember that it's all about finding balance and giving yourself grace when things don't go as planned. You deserve a life that is balanced and fulfilling and your art can be a source of joy and connection for that. Thanks for watching, I hope you got something out of this video um, and see you guys in my next video. Until then, bye!